Guys, so following up from my last video, um, I wanted to stop by and start sharing some of my videos with you. I want to apologise that my camera angle's a little bit dodgy. Um, just that, like I said in the first video, things aren't set up how they used to be set up. I'm still trying to find a way that I could get it to work. Um, as you can see, my desk is different. Um, but again, I'm hoping to kind of work on getting that sorted. But for now, this is the setup I've got. Um, and I wanted to get back to YouTube and kind of get stuff posting. Um, I don't know if people have seen a lot of the stuff about the um, how they're changing the monetization of videos and things like that. That's not something that's really persuaded me to come back because I've never made money out of YouTube. But it kind of prompted me to go, yeah, Nancy, you still enjoy doing that, so maybe you should go back and share what you do. <laughs> so... <coughs> I've still got a bit of a dodgy throat from this cold that I had before Christmas, so apologise if I keep clearing my throat. Okay, so first up I'm going to share um, some of the smaller projects I did. So this one is a project that I taught at um, a weekend away in um, for the Go Go Getaway. This was um, a little weekend retreat, um, and I used this was using a lot of the shimmers products the paints products um and then this lovely collection by people that have completely just gone out of my head wow you can see i'm rusty at this <laughs> um anyway i worked with one collection and um i created this book taught the basic book binding um the spine here created all this cover and then created this shaker part on the front again I love doing this, I love teaching this. It was quite a complicated thing to teach because book binding can be quite complex, but it was really good. There was a few challenging moments, but I really enjoyed it. So this has a series of like leaves in it and a series of these um, frames, which are not stuck down completely. And the reason I did that is so the photos were removable. I mounted them on the back so you could um, also write journaling on the back if you want to do some hidden journaling hidden journaling so and then just went through and again decorated it this is this um a collection of um me and my boyfriend over the year again some of these papers were hand printed but this is a really fun little project um again i used black and white photos which i really enjoyed um in here and again, I really kind of really enjoyed like these little mini books and like printing different size photos. And like I said, I really love how this came out and it was received um, really well actually at the day. So that always that's always a good feeling. So yeah, this is just my little mini album of funny little pictures. Um I say it's just a cute, quite a cute little album which then ties up. And as I said, um really enjoyed teaching this class it was taught over my birthday weekend in july so that was great fun so that was one mini album i made this is a mini album that i made quite recently using the crepe paper and um, valentine's collection so really love how this came together this is actually a chipboard album so with the rings and then i've just created a spine using some very old Bella Boulevard paper. Also added some little pom-poms on here. These are just from the haberdashery store, they're not any from like the crepe paper collections or anything. And this was just quite a simple board book. I haven't actually journaled in here yet because this was going to be a Valentine's present. I just got on a bit early making it. So this is just a simple board book. Again, just covering the chipboard pages. Again, a selection of pictures of 2017, um, places we've gone, things we've done, um, and again, really loved the theme of this collection. And it was really bright and just cheerful. So, I made this super sweet little board book from that. But I said, just giving it that spine just makes it a little bit special, and then you can hang things off the spine, and everyone loves a hanging tassel. So, that was another little Valentine's make. And I really like this. And again, I'm going to be making things in smaller scale because of the spacing issues that I talked about in my first video. So 
this was kind of me kind of thinking about whether I'm going to make albums or I'm going to use pre-bought sort of sizes. So I'm still doing a little bit of thinking about that. But again, these I love these and these are really nice sort of sturdy sort of books that you can mess around with. So this is my December daily. Again, it's got some tassels on here. It's got some felt um, snowflakes. Add a little bit of decoration um, on here. This is a um, clip from last year's, but this is actually something that Emma sent me. Um, so that's on there. I'm going to end up covering it because this, I think, was a mince pie. <laughs> so yes, I need to cover this mince pie stain. Or I might just leave it. Who knows? Because when it's on the shelf, you only see this side. So this is half started, and the base pages are all made, but I didn't get a chance to do all of it because I then became poorly, and that became a priority of just trying to get well. So made a super cute front cover, um, and then again, it's got lots of different things, lots of different styles and stuff in it. Um, just wanted to make one that was quite organic, quite a mixture of different things. So I've got day one in there. Then we had a weekend, me and my boyfriend had a weekend together, which was our only one in December. Um, and we went out and sort of done some fun Christmassy stuff. And so we've got lots of cute bits in here. Again, I've got these numbers and I'm only gonna fill these bits with sequins and um, fuse along the top. Here is um, a page about my Christmas sock project. As I said, knitting has become a big love of mine. So, documented that. Then we've got Christmas trees. And I really love like this interactive element in um, these, what are they called? Snap albums. I've got these snap pockets. So these are the ones that go with the album. Um, but of course you can use the fuse tool to add them as well. So again, different pages, different things, just documenting where we are, sort of funny Snapchat pictures, um, another sort of make, a crochet make there of a scarf. Then, so I got up to day eight of actually making the pages, and then in here I've got my pictures in, and bits planned, I've got a picture that needs to go here. So I've then started to get my pages mapped out, so I know what I need to put in, I've printed my photos, again I've got a large photo to go here, so I know that I've just got to go back and finish the makes here. Um, but that's not a problem, I'm going to quite enjoy doing that and revisiting some of the, here's the Christmas socks, they were finished. Um, just going back and adding these in, and I said there's some funny photos and stuff and you know I really enjoyed um, <clears throat> making those. And again, I've got some elements, some painted elements that I've done. Um, I would say, do, 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 if I can find them. I do have quite a few of these gorgeous girls. I'm still a massive fan of those. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know that I used to do colouring and painting videos. Um, I still love painting um, stamped images. I just find it so relaxing. I've still got all of my um, Spectrum Noirs, which I love, but... Um, again, things are packed away, I don't have them, but my gorgeous girl stamps are all with me. So, I've used them in various places in the album. So this is something that um, I need to come back to, but that is kind of one of my first projects to get done in 2017, because all those memories are still fresh. Then I have this, which is a We On Memory Keepers 8x8 album. Um, me and my boyfriend went to Disneyland Paris in... October and I can't, I'm not a massive Disney fan I know I've said this before um, I don't know some of the last videos I put up on the channel were Disney um, but Halloween is what sold it to me <laughs> I don't have many pages in here I've got a lot of page protectors so I've got a few pages that I've done and these are featured up on the Hey Little Magpie blog so these are the start of the pages and these this is me really thinking about the kind of styles and stuff that I want to do in here. So I've decided that I am going to do a Disney album which uses a lot of Halloween stash. Um, I've got a lot of Halloween stash from previous years, I also brought a fair bit this year. So my plan is to document 
you know, Halloween um, in Disney. Um, of course, if you can see this lovely image of me here. Um, you know, there was a there was a lot of the pumpkin and like the fall and Halloween sort of decorations. So it all works really well. So I'm going to be working on this one in an 8x8 album. So I've got quite a few page protectors here. I've got some divided page protectors as well. So as you know, me and my boyfriend were there for two days. Yeah, two days. And again, obscene amounts of photos obscene so um <laughs> it was actually my boyfriend's birthday while we were away um so i do want to document it the stuff but i just thought yeah this is what i need to do use halloween for it so this is a project that's going to be ongoing this year and i hope to share a lot of that here on the channel as well so they are the some of the smaller pieces i've worked on so including sort of pre-bought smaller albums and then a couple of this one's completely made from scratch and this one was using just an old, sort of older fashioned board book and I just really enjoyed them and I really enjoyed this variety of sizes as well so I think that's something you're definitely going to see with me going forward this year is these kind of different sizes I still will always love my 12x12 it is something that will be near and dear to my heart my American albums from 2016 I think, yeah, 2016. Don't show any signs of, I mean, it's it 2015. I can't remember when I went. Um, I think, hang on, it was 2015. Okay, so we're now in three years, and I think it took me three and a half years to do my last American albums. So I'm kind of in time. So they are 12 by 12. I love them. That's never going to change. Still got my 12 by 12 um, album, which I'm going to show in a separate video. But this year, I don't think I can capture the everyday in 12 by 12 because until I sort out living situations, storage space, it's just not viable. Um, and I don't want that to detract from the crafting to be worried about things like that. So that is something that is going to change for this year, but not forever. <laughs> um, as you'll see when I share some of my other albums that I've done in different sizes um there's a there's a hate relationship with some of them because i really just didn't enjoy the size or the format so i don't want to force myself to do something that i'm not going to enjoy so i want to thank you very much guys for stopping by to watch this video um i said if you've enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up give me a like leave me a comment i really want to get back into this community i've missed it i'm lucky that there's several people that i've met through youtube that um i'm now friendly with through instagram and instagram is where you know I spend a lot of time um, again I've tried to cut back on my posting on there as well because you know things can kind of take over life a bit so but yeah you'll find me on Instagram as well and I'm lucky that several people even though I've not been on YouTube I've still sort of stayed connected with so that's been super fun so yeah that is this for this video I'm going to come back and show you some of my other videos um, other my albums in other videos <sighs> I'm going to get back to this YouTube thing, I promise. Um, and yeah, so thank you very much for stopping by today. Thank you for sparing some time to spend with me. And I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye.